I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah, HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of a great millstone. Shalom to the elect. Okay, uh, I want to go into this video, um, kind of a response. Can a woman get saved without a husband? And I guess, you know, if the truth evolves, you know, you grow in the truth you know so you know my my thing is I don't want to go into that part so to speak I mean this uh, I, be, I believe um, Elder Yasha Wamba did a video on it Elder Manat Zatba and uh, various other brothers elders and brothers done videos on this topic what I want to touch more on is um, for you women who sees this as a way of uh, not fulfilling your duties as a woman as a wife you know especially that have a husband you know um i've heard of a disturbing situation where a brother may have saw you know a video like this and said well his wife says well i don't really need to um <laughs> uh I, I may not need you to be saved you know and that's not a good way to be. That's not, you know, the spirit of a, a, a young woman to behave, you know. That's not the spirit to be in. You know, that's a glory to you to have, to be able to have a husband if you were blessed with one. And he doesn't, he, ha he hasn't done anything to the point where you had to split and you may even have some problems, you know. And this is why younger women really shouldn't who may have an issue really shouldn't look at a video you know video like that but it's all in the spirit a woman who's seasoned you know who's been in the truth and kind of understand the truth a little more she would understand you know that you still have guidelines as a woman to follow you know you still have a you know a certain level of respect that you must have and reference you must have for your husband your lord so to speak okay that's why the you know the most high you know made us and he oppressed us together okay and he's going to deliver us so you may have uh, some women who may 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 lose a man in the truth you know and if he's of the elect and or the most high might see favor to that and even though you don't have him he was you know you will still get delivered also, there's going to be some single women, and, I, and I've heard some of the brothers' videos on point, but I'm just adding, like, a, you know, my bit to it, you know? You're going to have this thing where, in the, in the, in, when this thing really starts wrapping up, the woman down the street that you never thought was going to be a woman of the truth, coming to the truth. You know, I believe your house shall say even a harlot shall get into the kingdom before some Jake. You know, that's just what it is. You know, maybe even more women. You know, but the start is 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 the order. So let's go to the order, and I'll get a comment, a disturbing comment that was left on Apostle Gabar's channel, as I had already did the video. You know, the speaking part of the video, I had to cut back in and uh, say, you know, this is not a behavior to to have. Now, my, our main goal right now is to wake up the elect men, you know. That's all to it, you know. If the, the woman catches it and she gets the truth and she follows her husband or she doesn't have a husband and she prays to the Lord that she, he gives her a husband, you know, or however it works out, you know. This is a, a Romans 11 and 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahawashah, and the head of the woman, the woman is the man, okay? And the head of Yahawasha is Yahweh, okay? Let's go to verse 8. Uh, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman of the man. So, you know, as women coming in the truth, you know, I've, I've seen 
a lot of feminist Israelites and a lot of Jake and these other camps, I'm speaking of other camps, who are exalting these women on 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 high levels of platform, you know, without, you know, correcting them, you know. It, that's your sole duty as a husband and a man of the Lord. And that's what we do at Great Millstone. We we may tell a woman that's doing great that she's doing good or whatever and to some of the sisters or whatever but mainly you know mainly we we out to reach the elect you know the elect men you know that's what we're out to reach and if the woman uh, is following the truth to the best of her ability well the lord's going to make it happen if she's the elect she's the elect she i mean she's of the elect you know the lord will make that happen no matter how you look at it this is second john one and one okay which I know the apostle brought that out the elder unto the elder elect lady and her children whom I love in the truth which I brought this scripture out years ago and a, and a lot of times this scripture is not read you know but I brought it out and that's what I was going into this is some years back okay but I have more understanding of it now you know because you're going to have um, elder elder woman you know you're going to have elder women who supported their husbands in the truth. You know? Who supported their women in the truth. And under reincarnation, them same women may come back and not be as old. But they might have an issue with getting a husband. But, you know, as I said years ago when you were young, you never knew who you was going to be with. You had, no, you had no idea I'm going to be with this man or, or I'm going to be with this woman you don't know who you're going to be with only the most high directs your steps as Jeremiah I believe the 10th chapter say he directs your steps so you don't know so anyway this is why I went to Apostle Gabar's page and I, I pulled up his uh, channel and he did his take on it but it's a woman on here named Leslie Richardson she says, thank God I don't have to get married. <laughs> you know, and I think a lot of women are just fed up with Jake. But if you in the truth, you know what I'm saying? You in the truth, that's a glory to you. You know, if you was able to find, if you're a good woman and you're confident in being a good woman, a woman of the Lord, a woman in the truth, let me say that, then you would have you know more confidence in yourself and believe that you will be blessed with a good husband okay now this woman might be a little older you know and she might be saying it differently she might mean it in a way that she understands that she's a little older and she can't really get married and she's maybe saying thank God I don't have to get married but other younger women or whoever may not see this or understand this might think well shoot I don't have to get married I don't need no, need no man you know that that feminism that that you know that have destroyed our community so to speak which the lord allowed because the, today this society they tell you you don't need a man you don't got to get married follow your career do your you know do what you need to do and just live good you don't need no husband you don't need no man okay anyway you don't need but what, what, what the most high gives you you know gives you what you need okay um, she goes on to say, "Why wouldn't, why wouldn't a woman not be saved without a husband? I never heard of that. But it's a blessing to have a husband. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 not that it's not okay, you know, to you know that you don't want a husband. You should, as a woman, that's part of your glory. Your hair is your glory, but you should want a husband. And my thing is, if you don't, okay, I'm not gonna go into that. This whole point of this video, if you should have a husband." And you might be having a few problems. That's your business. But don't throw it all away. Don't throw your so-called relationship away while in the truth. Because you heard now now have come across a video like this saying you can be delivered without your husband. And then that all of a sudden festers demons on you. You know? That's not even what the video was about really. The video wasn't about... If you got a if you got a, a husband, you can be delivered without him. Okay, that's not going to happen, especially if he's a, a man of the Lord and treating you good. 
you can be sure you're not going to get delivered without him. It's all up to the most high, of course. This is going to single women who really can't find anyone and they, they're scared and they don't know. Uh, these crazy Negroes running down the, around the street that's in their neighborhood that they can't find a husband and they, they're all messed up and they don't want to take the chance of getting themselves in, in messed up situations. Well, you know, and I'm just be be honest, there's brothers in all different camps. You got camps everywhere. You got brothers everywhere. And I'm not trying to play Mr. Matchmaker, but you pray and the Lord will, you know, guide you. And the Lord knows your spirit and he's going to deliver the faithful. And you women that are um, into the truth of our doctrine, you would already know it's not unlawful for a man to have more than one wife you know that polygamy thing just came along with this man and his system that was no that was never even called that because there was no such thing as that you know that's just a little extra word that's all i have on that shallow one